Hello viewers. So I went ahead and completed the Halloween cage setup for my sugar gliders. I'm just going to pan around the front so you can just kind of see what I have on the front. I have some snakes. I have some pumpkins, a spider, some monsters. You can see all that there. Now I'm going to go inside and I will go through the items that I have inside. So I did go ahead and replace that bridge hammock for this square hammock. Let me pan around here so you can see the bottom of that. That's really cute. So that was from Up Till Dawn Sugar Glider Gear on Facebook. If you're interested in looking at her stuff. She is also the one that had that triple hammock Christmas tree that I did that little video on for the trial. I was doing a product test on. It worked out really well, so I'll be putting that up for Christmas. Um, I went ahead and I ordered some things from Critter Hill. I ordered a quart size variety toy bin pack that had a bunch of random things. So they these little hands here, um, I guess they're like the little back scratchers. I didn't really know what to do with those for toy making. I'm sure there's lots you can do, but... I just got the idea to kind of hang them around to resemble like monster hands. So that's when I'm going to refer to these as for this setup. These are monster hands. So I have a few pairs hanging around the cage for them to play with. Uh, this is the toy that I already covered that I made with the little monster. There you go. And if anyone has seen my Halloween haul from Walmart that I uploaded yesterday, I got some items from there. This pumpkin, I did manage to get a hole in it. And I have these ping pong balls inside that I had also got there. And some more monster hands, of course. And the skeleton, also the snakes. And I also include this skull mug. There we go. There it is. Um, I'm going to show you how I put that in there. I had a little bit of trouble figuring this one out. So I ended up just shoving the, the bars, uh, the handle through the bars there, and have it propped up on the shelf to hold it pretty steady. I'm sure, sorry for the movement there, I'm sure this isn't going to go anywhere. I think it's pretty pretty secure. It won't tip over. They can climb in and kind of um, explore around in there. So this ghost toy, I believe I talked about. Uh, in another video, my Halloween video, I can't remember if it was one or two, but this is a little juice container. I melted out a hole in the bottom, and I used uh, the pumpkin straws, much like the ones I had on the front of the cage. Actually, they are just like the ones I had on the front of the cage, but I did cut them up to um, assemble them in different sections. So, anyway... As you can see, I have some up in there, beads in between, and then the rest of them. I used craft lace, beads, the little small plastic Easter eggs. Probably all of the, the, the straws and the Easter eggs were gotten from the dollar store as well, I'm sure, as the ghost. It's been a while. I don't remember. These little rings I like to use on my toys are from sewing sections or sewing stores. Somebody's getting a little cranky in there. So anyway, this is a forge toy that I made. And I'm looking forward to taking that other little ghost container. If you saw my Halloween haul, you'll know what I'm talking about. And that little blue pumpkin and making some toys out of those. But I don't think that's going to happen for this year. I have some alligators that were in the variety pack from Critter Hill I purchased. Um, and, and I also, I just wanted to run this by too. I also, this extra vine here, I had purchased a vine from Critter Hill a while ago. But I went ahead and I got another one to kind of hang back there just to give it a little bit more um, leaves in there. And let's go down to the bottom of the cage. Here we go. Excuse any movement I'm making here. Oh, these little straw hoggers that I have made used in the toy up there they attach nicely to the cage bars but they might end up being used for toys when I make some more toys I don't get to make them as often so uh, here we have a skeleton some monster hands 
their toy bin. I put their hedgehog in there and some bracelets, little plastic things that they can pick up and chew. And then, of course, I cover their skull and their little bed I'm using for a feeding station right now. I mentioned I really do like the way this is working out. It's a little extra to clean up in the morning, but I really, really don't mind. It's really cute, and they seem to like sitting on there and eating their fruit and vegetables. So anyway, this pretty much is my finished complete setup for the Halloween sugar glider cage. I hope you enjoyed viewing my arrangement and thank you for watching.